Welcome to this flash tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create an image gallery using intervals. Now what this means is that every set amount of time the image gallery will cycle to the next image. So to get started what we're going to do is create a flash action script 3 document. So I'm going to create that and then I'm going to change the stage size uh, to 600 by 500 because it will probably work better for my larger images. So I'm going to click OK. And I think I'm going to zoom out to like 80%. Maybe 60. Let's zoom out to 60. All right. So now what I'm going to do is label my layers. So on the first layer, it's already here. I'm going to make that images. And then I'm going to right click on that and then insert layer. And then I'm going to make that action script. And now on this first uh, keyframe here, I'm going to uh, add some images. So to f I need to first uh, import those in. So I'm going to go to File, Import, Import to Library. And then I'm going to grab these images here. Uh, I have some that are small and some that are uh, larger, so I'm just going to open up the smaller ones, keep the file size smaller. Now they should be in the library, so I'm going to drag one out onto this uh, area here. And they seem kind of large, but they are the smaller version of it. Um, and then I'm going to move this registration point so that I can just scale it to the corner instead of the center. So basically what I'm going to do with e each of these images is just uh, cover up the white of the background. So now what I'm going to do is um, create a blank keyframe on the next uh, layer here, or the next uh, frame, by going right-clicking and then going to insert blank keyframe. And then I'm going to add the next image in. Um, so I'm going to do this real quick and then I will be back. Alright, as you can see I've taken and added each image on its own individual frame of the images layer. As I scroll through you can see each image there. So now what I wanted to uh, let you guys know is a little tip. Um, if you click this square right here, you can turn any layer into uh, an outline. And basically this is uh, helpful if you want to position something that you can't really see through. Um, so for, this, for these images it was uh, especially helpful um, so that you could position them on the document without being able to see them. So you just take the part of the image you want to see and then put it over the document. Um, but it just helps you to see where your images are in relation to what's actually going to be seen. So I just wanted to let you guys know about that little tip there. And uh, now let's get started um, actually using the action script to run this gallery. So click on the action script uh, layer here and then click on the first frame and then go to your actions tab and if you don't have that you can go to window and then actions or press F9. So the first action is going to be a stop action so stop open close parentheses semicolon and then what we're going to do, well basically that just uh, stops it when it gets to the frame. And then now what we're going to do is create a timer uh, to run the gallery so it knows how long to stay on each image. So for that we're going to need a variable. So we're going to type var space and then this is going to run the next image. So that's what I'm going to be calling the variable. So next image colon and then it's going to be a timer with a capital T. Space equals space and it's a new timer and timers again capitalized and then open close parenthesis semicolon and this uh, inside the parentheses is going to be a number and basically this number is going to be how long it takes um, for the image to rotate to the next one so how long you're going to see the image now what this number is is it's in milliseconds so every thousand that you type in here is going to be a second so I want my gallery to go a little bit longer than one second so I'm going to type in two thousands for two seconds. So now what we need to do is actually add an event listener for this timer. So we're going to say next image dot add event listener and then it's open parenthesis but it should have already added that if you hit enter and then it's a timer event and capital T and E dot timer in all caps comma and then we need to create a name for the function and it's going to go to the next image so I'm just going to say play next and I'm putting a capital N. So now we're going to do closing parenthesis semicolon and now on the next line we're going to actually start this timer going so we're going to do next image dot start open close parenthesis semicolon and now what we need to do since we have basically this line is uh, creating we've created the timer we've added an event to the timer and we've started the timer going so now we need it to actually do something so we need to write this function that's right here so we need to write play next so we'll say function play next and open parenthesis it's an event colon event with a capital E 
close parenthesis, another colon, void, because we're not returning data, open curly bracket, hit enter twice, close curly bracket, up arrow key, and now basically we want it to go to the next frame, so that's a simple function, next frame, and open close parenthesis, semicolon, and the F on next frame is capitalized. So now it should be working, so I'm going to do control test movie, and you should see every two seconds it's going to go to the next image. So that seems to be working okay. I'm not going to make you guys watch through that um, because there's more that we're going to do. Um, I want it to actually go to the next or to the beginning once it gets to the end. Um, right now it's probably just going to stop on the last frame. Um, so what we need to do is actually add in a blank keyframe at the very end, which is going to say it's going to tell it to go to the first frame. So um, on the first frame, or on the last frame, we added this blank keyframe because we want it to actually show this image, and if it gets to this and it goes to the first one real quick, you're not even going to get to see that one, so we're just adding a blank one at the end. Um, so what we need to do on this is actually add action scripts, so we're going to click on that frame and then go open the actions layer again, and then we're going to need to stop the timer, and I'll explain why in a second. So we're going to type next image dot stop open close parenthesis semicolon and I put a comma it used to be a period alright basically we need to stop the timer because if we go back to the beginning and it starts another timer going then it's gonna be running basically two at the same time and it'll end up messing up the images about like the fourth time through the gallery um, if you wanted to um, test that fact then you can actually take this uh, out and it will um, mess up the timing about that that time through. So we need that in order to keep that from happening. So we'll put that in and then we also need to have next and then image dot reset. So that's resetting the timer. And then open close parenthesis semicolon. So now um, basically the whole purpose was to get it to go back to the first frame. So we need go to and stop and the A and the S are capitalized. Open parenthesis one close parenthesis semicolon. So now we do control test movie, and I'll let you watch through it this time. It's going to get to the strawberries, and then it's going to go to the first frame. So if all goes planned, it'll go back to the first frame. There you go. So now you have an auto-incremented uh, image gallery that will auto-play. Um, by itself, this, this is actually pretty effective, um, but if you wanted to add it to something else with buttons, you could easily take your images... Um, with whatever action script you already had attached to those and um, turn that into a movie clip and then you could run it with buttons also. Um, there's many applications to this um, basically just to run things on increment. Uh, if you don't use it for an image gallery you can even use the increment for uh, something else. So uh, I hope you guys learned something with this tutorial and I hope you subscribe, rate, and comment. If you need the action script for this tutorial it will be on my website. So I'll see you next week. Thanks.